Hey folks, my name is Chris Wessel and today we're going to be tying a rat style fly using the dyed grey fox from Shore Fishing. Alright, so we're going to grab our hook. Today I'm using a number 6 Maruto M30. And we're going to start. I Actually, I'm still using 140 from a previous tying video, but I've got UTC thread here. Uh, 70 is fine. UTC is great stuff. So, and it's just the way I do it, guys, but I um, start my thread a little bit back further when I know I'm tying with a uh, collar. Um, just gives me a little bit more room to play with when I get back up to the eye of the hook. It's something I've always struggled with. Um, the size of the heads on my flies when I was using uh, collars. So this has just been a way that I've felt helped me out with that. All right, and then we're gonna use our gold French Vivas tinsel. Vivas makes a great product. I have zero issues with it fraying. Uh, this is actually a size extra small. I probably could have actually went up to a small for this fly, but I kind of like smaller ribbing, like the way it looks. So, <coughs> excuse me. We just tie in our um, butt section here. And this is a number six. Oh, I'm gonna have, uh, so I just need to wrap a bit more thread there to keep that together. have a so I wrap that in with one wrap and then I bring the thread over to the other side and I just put in a couple more wraps to secure it um, you're gonna want to leave that uh, rib material well that material there for ribbing um, next on the list so I don't have any peacock swords right now I have some on route what I'm using is uh, peacock eyes with uh, the tapered ends on it so if I was tying a rat, a proper rat, you'd want to use um, peacock swords, but this is it. When this is all you got, you just deal with it. I want to be pretty clear too that I, you know, I don't consider this a rat that I'm tying now. It, it's, it's styled as a rat, but so I don't have anybody jumping down my throat saying that's not a rat. I know it's not. Main purpose of this video is just want to show you guys um, tying with that dyed gray fox. So we're going to bring this thread up, tying in that peacock. Right about there is good. That stuff rips right off. Um, so I've been doing this just because I've been tying a lot at once. I just put my floss in a bobbin and then I'm tying off and just going with that. So. In the long run, I find it saves me a bit of time. You do it however you want to do it. I'm using Glow Bright for this. I love this stuff so much. I can't remember the last time I've used other floss like I used to. Used to use Uni Stretch, but it's fine. I got more control with this stuff. It's smaller. All right, so I'm just gonna tie that off. We're actually gonna use this floss for the head as well. So another reason why you want to leave yourself a bit of space up front because it's not thread, it's, you know, it's, it's bulky. You can't use a lot of it. I don't know how these hairs got trapped in there, but that's going to drive me nuts. So next step, we're going to put some just normal peacock for the body. That should work. I always kind of peel off the first little bit because I find it's very fragile and it can break. 
and we're going to bring this peacock up so far right about to there now a trick that i do because peacock is very fragile i always put a bit of head cement on the body and this kind of just gives it something to stick to seems to hold them together really well and i mean i'm a lot of my tying is for other people so you know you want to make sure they got it you're given a fly that uh, is going to last too and we're just making pretty close wraps here Let's fold that back over, do a couple turns. Go. All right, so now we wrap our ribbing. Ribbing is in. We're gonna tie in our wing now. I, uh, for these wings, I like to put in a bit of tires wax on top of my thread just to get that real nice stick in there. We're gonna use a uh, red dyed gray fox. So there's a lot of under fur with this stuff. So this under fur does come out really easy though. So I just grab my guard hairs and just pluck that stuff out. You could brush it out too, but it just comes out so easy with this. Uh, my stacker. You don't have to stack it. If you want an uneven end, something that looks you know, a little more tapered. But I like it when it looks nice and neat. And as always, I like to measure up, oh, how'd that one get in there? Where I want it to. And then I cut where I, I just eyeballed where I wanted it. Come up around. So I'm going to just put a dab of crazy glue here. I got a cat that is trying to get into this room right now. If you guys can hear doors creaking, this guy's nuts. A little stray hair there. And I just kind of wrap in the rest of that. That crazy glue is going to hold that wing in place big time. So, all right. So now we got to put on some collar material. So I'm using a uh, whiting um, hen saddle and try to grab a piece that, you know, looks very full. If you're using saddle, I mean, it's going to look full and rich anyway, because the saddle fibers are very webby, but so I'm currently writing a blog on this for sure, but I'll, uh, I'll go over it now. I try to choose my hackle that I'm using so that I know that somewhere in the middle of this feather is going to be the size that I want to use on this. So I just lick my fingers while I'm holding both ends of this and I comb it back. And I'm just kind of coercing the, uh, the hair or the fibers to come back and this is the way you're going to wrap it on. And then I will get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that. All right, so now is the wrapping. On your first one, be gentle because there's not a lot holding that in. 
And if you're having difficulties with that, you can use a bit of crazy glue on top of that. And then as you're wrapping, you're kind of just brushing these fibers back and holding them. And I'm definitely doing a lot of wraps here, but man, I, I like a really full collar, so. That's, that's all right, I'll do one more. It, this is a crazy amount of, that's probably more than I usually do actually, but that's all right. Give that a few wraps just to hold that in place and just be very careful when you're cutting this off that you don't hit your thread. So now we need to um, bring this hackle back and you're only gonna wanna do a few wraps with your um, black thread because you're gonna tie off and go with the globe right now if you're going with a red head on this or you can use um, red thread as well but I just really like globe right I like uh, the UV reflecting properties of it and as you probably know I use it for everything so it doesn't slide around at all while I'm putting it on I'd like to just put a tiny little bit of crazy glue there and that's gonna really just hold it secure while I'm wrapping it. There won't be any slippage there. And I'm just gonna come back down the head. Check my other side, it's not terrible. I can see a little bit of black there, but hopefully that'll be caught with the uh, whip finishing wraps I gotta do now. And it's not the prettiest head ever, but it'll work. I'm gonna just have a quick look at it. That all looks pretty good to me. And so lately I've been using um, UV for heads just to get them done quickly. And it's like really good stuff. It's rock hard, but I always use a touch of uh, this crazy glue or head cement and let that dry before I put on UV. All right, there you go. It's a rat style fly. <laughs> we won't say rat. Um, but we're using dyed gray fox from shore. Uh, if you guys haven't used this yet, I mean, it's super cool stuff, really nice to use. I highly recommend it. Give it a try. Uh, thank you very much for watching the video and stay tuned for some more. We're going to be trying to get them up as much as possible. Thank you.